What's up everyone, it's Branto75, and this is a, another part to the simplest tutorials ever. Alright, uh, pay no mind to the slight lag in the game, it's just because I'm recording. Um, okay, so, many of you may uh, be playing um, Kingdom Hearts 2 or pretty much any other game, and this may be what it looks like. It may be all pixely, and it's just kind of gross, and... Yeah, like you can see like all the lines and especially on Sora's hair is where you can see the main difference. Um, so, but within just a couple settings in uh, in the config in PCSX2, um, you can have your game looking really nice. Um, it's actually going to look pretty much on par, surprisingly, with the... Uh, uh, 1.5 HD remix of Kingdom Hearts 1. Alright, so let's go into the config. Alright, and so there's one thing we're going to start off with the core GS settings. Now this is for PCSX 1.0.0. So we're going to go into the core settings, and pretty much you can leave all this fine. But we want to go into GS window, and click wait for vertical sync on refresh. Um, vertical sync pretty much gets rid of any of those horizontal lines that go across the screen, which is called screen tearing. So that gets rid of that, um, at least for the most part in any way. So we're going to click OK, and that's it for that. So next we're going to go into video, and we're going to go into plugin settings. All right. So first thing that is going to make a huge difference is to change Direct3D9 software to Direct3D9 hardware. Don't use the other options. I found that using the th um, Direct3D11 hardware kind of makes your screen jump, and it's really weird. Um, and I, I have a relatively high-end PC. Um, you may also need to have like a pretty good PC to run this, um, because no matter what settings I do, I never seem to lose any quality or lose any frames I'm constantly at 60 FPS but anyway all right so so now we're gonna leave inner so we're gonna change that to direct 3d9 hardware now we're gonna leave um, interlacing at auto all right now for scaling we're gonna change this between you can really pick between four five and six um, I haven't noticed a huge difference so I was just like, okay, I'm just going to pick the middle ground and pick five because I can handle it. All right, so here's a, where a big um, big notice is going to happen is changing the saturation um, from 50 to 60 because even just a little bit, like even just that 10%, it makes actually a pretty significant difference in the color. So we're just going to change that up to 50 to 60. So as you can see, the color is a little bit more vibrant. It looks more like Kingdom Hearts. All right. So now over into the hardware most settings, we are going to have texture filtering. Oh, um, yeah. We're going to have texture filtering. You want to double click this if it's not already to where it's a box because you have a check mode and then you have a box mode. All right. Um, we we're just going to allow 8-bit textures because why the fuck not? Um, logarithmic Z, just leave that checked. Alpha correction, leave that checked. And let's go into configure. All right, MSAA is your anti-aliasing. It's what causes like the little jagged li um, lines on the side of the screen and whatnot. <coughs> so um, you can pretty much change to whatever your computer can handle. There isn't a whole lot difference between um, 2, 4, and 8. Um, I just found that 4 is just a great middle ground for me. Leave skip draw alone. Um, you can select any of these options if you want. Alpha and half pixel offset have not done a damn thing that I can see. Uh, neither has that. Um, the only thing you want to have checked is sprite on the full box. Um, that's pretty much just gonna make like the little like little sprites in game look better. All right. Um, now I have not been able to prove if this helps at all, but if you wanna um, enable edge anti-aliasing, um, put it on ten. B 
because anything higher, anything lower, I don't really see a difference. But if it's there and I just can't see it, whatever. I can fucking handle it, so I don't care. So, and then we're just going to press OK. Uh, I don't know what the hell Enable HW Hacks is, so I enabled it, and it didn't really do anything. So I was like, okay, fuck it. And so then you just press OK. And, oops. <coughs> you should be able to tell already that this is just so much smoother. Here, I'll go and I'll show you kind of like a before and after. All right, or an after and before. Okay, so here's with your new settings. Okay. Um, so then let's just go into the configs. Yeah, so that's the new settings. Plugin. And then we're just going to change that to the software. And, oh my god, look at that. You can see the difference. You really can. So let's go back and we'll change it one more time. And it is as clear as day in my eyes how much better. Like, this is even better looking than what you can get on a PS2. This is in fucking credible. So, that's about it. So I hope you guys um, found this tutorial helpful. And please make sure you favorite, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I want you all to have a fabulous day. Peace.